I've been writing about various food supplements and magazines and other sources of communication for over, over 40 years. And of course, in doing so and in being involved in bodybuilding, I've also used many types of food supplements and I experiment with food supplements. And I currently write about food supplements, among other topics, in my Applied Metabolic Newsletter. Uh, I tell the whole truth about food supplements. I tell you which supplements work, which ones don't, why they work, what to look for in supplements, and so on and so forth. But today I want to discuss a, a particular supplement that I, uh, I've been experimenting it, with it myself for about a year. Uh, the reason I started using it is some initial studies showed that it had uh, particularly good effects against some of the uh, things that happen when you get older, some of the negative aspects of aging. Uh, now, the initial studies of this stuff uh, involved just about all animal studies, which, as I pointed out in Applied Metabolics many times, you have to be careful of animal studies because what applies to animals doesn't necessarily apply to human beings. 92% of uh, drugs that worked well in animals didn't, didn't pass muster in human studies. So you got to be very careful interpreting animal studies. But when you look at the biochemistry of this particular stuff I'm talking about, and the stuff I'm talking about is called, it, it, it's called nicotin, nicotinamide riboside. Uh, as the name applies, well, let me get back to what I was saying. Uh, it, it, the way it works, uh, it, it's a precursor for a substance in the body called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD. NAD is a pivotal substance in the working of the cell. It's involved in the production of energy as ATP. Uh, it's involved in uh, numerous uh, body reactions. It's a very important substance. And according to uh, the biology books, according to some scientists, NAD starts to decline with age. Now, one of the effects of a decline in, uh, of NAD is that your mitochondria start to not work as well. The mitochondria are cigar-shaped organelles found in cells. The mitochondria are the, uh, are, the, are the site of energy production as ATP and also fat oxidation in a process called beta oxidation. Uh, the, the idea is that uh, as NAD levels decline with age, your mitochondria doesn't work as well or, or even dies off. And when this happens, you get tremendous cellular aging. Muscles, by the way, are particularly affected by mitochondria because they're high energy organs. So, you know, one of the theories of muscle aging is that the mitochondria in muscles, again, gradually die off, leading to the basically the death of muscle cells as you age and you get smaller and weaker with age. That's one theory. It's not fully proven, but it's a theory. Uh, like I say, the mechanisms for NAD are beyond question. They, they do exist. And the fact is that this nicotinamide riboside is a uh, dietary precursor. So, uh, you know, a, a couple of years, well, maybe three or four years ago, some scientists uh, decided to uh, feed a form of a uh, different form of, not, not necessarily nicotinamide riboside, but a similar substance. They gave it to uh, animals, and they showed some beneficial effects, a lowering of blood pressure, uh, less liver fat, uh, and, and most, uh, actual, most impressive of all was uh, this uh, nicotinamide, uh, well, let's call it nicotinamide riboside, even though it wasn't exactly the same. It was very similar. Uh, most impressive of all, it stimulated uh, proteins called sirtuins. Sirtuins basically protect the cells from stress. And uh, when you go on a calorie deprivation diet, for example, a calorie restricted diet, where you reduce calories 30% or more, you stimulate sirtuins. And uh, this is one of the keys to why caloric, caloric restriction seems to extend the life of animals, although there's no definitive evidence that it does so in humans. Uh, but anyway, this uh, sirtuins is stimulated by NAD, and nicotinamide riboside sti uh, stimulates. Uh, it gets a little confusing, NAD. So, you know, the thought is by using this supplement, you know, you could, uh, to, to put it simply, you could kind of slow the aging process. And I like the fact that uh, it stimulated these sirtuins because the only real way to stimulate them usually is by taking another supplement called resveratrol, which isn't very well absorbed. Only 14% of it gets absorbed orally. 
uh, or the other way is by uh, engaging in exercise, does it, and also following a calorie-restricted diet. So, you know, if you could take a supplement like nicotinamide riboside that could stimulate sirtuins, it would go a long way to preserving health when you're over 40, so the theory says. And, and uh, it's one of those things that works extremely well on paper, but does it really work? Uh, now, there have been a number of studies, as I said, in animals uh, yeah, that showed that, like I said, reduction in blood pressure, increase in heart function, and even seemed to affect uh, the brain in the sense that it uh, offered brain protection in mice, in mice against Alzheimer's disease. No evidence that it does this in humans. This has never been tested. Until recently, there was no human studies at all available about nicotinamide riboside. Nicotinamide riboside. There was no human studies at all. However, in uh, but let's say about the last two years, the, the company that controls the patent, the use patent on nicotinamide riboside, has paid for a number of studies. And the studies have actually been conducted by a person who, or a scientist who is on the payroll of the company that controls the licensing of nicotinamide riboside as a supplement. This is very important because. You know, the company's paying for these studies, and any study that shows beneficial effects is going to boost the sales of nicotinamide riboside and make them a lot of money. So there's an ulterior motive. You have to, there's, you know, these are not really independent studies. The independent studies that have, have been conducted, and there isn't many, show another picture of nicotinamide riboside. And the fact is, for example, one study that caught my attention recently was a mouse study where providing the mice with doses, fairly large doses of nicotinamide riboside, decrease muscle function by 35%. Now, this is a mice study, but it really kind of, I was taking a, a nicotinamide riboside, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, I mean, if it's going to like decrease muscular endurance in, rice, uh, in mice by 35%, that's, that's not good. I, but I, I kind of cast it aside because it's a mouse study, and there was no evidence that it would do so in human beings. And I was taking the, uh, the and I'll call it NR, nicotinamide riboside. I wasn't really noticing anything, any difference in my workouts. I wasn't noticing any difference in uh, endurance. Uh, but you know, the one problem with nicotinamide riboside is it's very expensive. It's $80, uh, average is $80 a bottle and up, and that doesn't even last a month. Because, uh, you know, you have to, t I, I was using um, 250 milligram capsules. I was taking it uh, twice a day. If you do the math, uh, that's basically, uh, that's costing me a $1.33 do uh, per each capsule. So, uh, you know, it was costing me two dollars and over $2.60 a day just to take this one supplement, nicotinamide riboside. Now, if it was doing something, I wouldn't have mind. But the truth is, I really couldn't tell whether it was doing anything. And, and then I saw that mouse study. But the most intriguing study of all was, uh, was a recent study, and, and uh, this is it right here. Basically, the study says, and it wasn't conducted by the people that are on the payroll of the company that sells NR. So this is an independent study. It was published in the, the, American, uh, the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. The title is, A Randomized Placebo-Controlled Clinical Trial of Nicotinamide Riboside in Obese Men. Safety, insulin sensitivity, and lipid mobilizing effect. Wait a minute, I take that back. This actually was conducted by people working for the company that sells uh, NR. But, it, it, you know, it, it looked at, uh, it gave them, the interesting thing about this study was, first of all, it's a human study. It was placebo control. And they gave a huge dose of nicotinamide riboside. The, this is the largest dose ever given to humans. The dose was 2,000 milligrams a day. Now, at, uh, as a point of reference, uh, in another study, they gave 1,000 milligrams a day of uh, NR to humans, and that raised NAD levels by 60%. So uh, a dose of 2,000 milligrams a day would probably raise NAD as high as 90%, which should so show some real benefits. Uh, now, what this study showed, without going into a lot of detail, what this study, uh, this study showed was that there was no side effects. Uh, with that larger dose. That was one of the concerns. Uh, 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 could this stuff be toxic when you're taking it at large doses? Remember, when it first came out, they were selling it in doses of only 125 milligrams. A 125 milligram dose would raise, uh, would raise NAD about 
and it really doesn't do anything. Uh, you have to take doses of at least 500 milligrams a day. And as I said, this is going to cost anywhere from 250 to three dollars a day for uh, nicotinamide riboside supplements alone. Anyway, this uh, this new study showed that uh, giving the uh, and there was no side effects, but also I'll read it right off the thing. 2,000 milligrams appear safe, but the doses do not improve insulin sensitivity, whole body glucose metabolism, and it, and it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't affect fat loss. It do doesn't seem to do anything in these obese male human subjects. And I thought about it, and I said, you know what? This stuff costs a fortune, and to, and to use the dose that they used in this study, 2,000 milligrams, that would cost you an average of $10.64 a day just for this one supplement. And I said to myself, you know, I've used this stuff for a year. I haven't felt a damn thing from it. Uh, I'm, I'm a pre-diabetic myself, and uh, I was hoping that it would help me control my uh, insulin levels and my blood glucose levels. It didn't do a damn thing. So I'm not really obese uh, like the guys in this study, but, but the thing is I do exercise regularly. I follow a pretty good diet. But I still have, you know, it is still a little bit difficult because of genetic factors for me to control my blood glucose levels. For example, if I have any amount of uh, a large amount of carbohydrates, when I check my resting blood glucose, blood glucose, blood glucose level uh, after eating a lot of carbohydrates, even if they're natural carbohydrates, it almost is at diabetic level. So I'm very sensitive to carbohydrates because of certain genetic factors that I was born with on both sides of the family. I was hoping that taking, that was my primary reason for taking NR. I was hoping that it would help me control my glucose because the mouse studies seemed to show an insulin sensitizing effect and an effect on helping to control glucose. I can tell you after taking it a year, it does nothing of the kind. It does, I, I, I was taking again 500 milligrams. It's, uh, that's all, that's all I could really afford because, uh, this stuff, like I say, it, it costs between 80 and 90 dollars a bottle and it doesn't even last a month. I could not afford to take a thousand milligrams. I never did. And uh, 2,000 milligrams is out of the question. Perhaps if I had used the higher amounts, maybe I would have seen a difference. But again, 500 milligrams, the amount I was taking, raises uh, NAD 90%, so uh, up to 90%, I should say. So I should have seen something. So uh, what I'm trying to say is I don't think if I ingested a larger dose, it would have made any difference at all. So based on my experience and this new study, I deleted uh, nicotinamide riboside from my uh, supplement usage. I'm not going to be buying it anymore. I'll be saving myself at least, as well, probably with the tax, it'll be like over $90 a month for something that probably doesn't do a damn thing. You know, it, I, I'm sure that it does raise NAD, but I don't really know. Maybe I'm not even low in AD, NAD yet. I have no idea. It's hard to say, but I know that there's other people. There's, there was another video where this guy was suggesting that you know, because uh, nicotinamide riboside, nicotinamide, by the way, is a form of, of uh, nicotinamide or niacin, which is a uh, B-complex vitamin. And to metabolize niacinamide, you have to uh, have these uh, uh, substances called methyl groups. Methyl groups are, are made in the liver, and uh, certain nutrients stimulate methyl group production, such as vitamin B12, folic acid, and choline. Now, the, this researcher was saying that uh, you got to be careful because if you take nicotinamide riboside, it requires a lot of methyl donors to be metabolized. The niacinamide part does. And you could wind up with a deficiency of methyl donors. Methyl donors are important in a number of, of uh, reactions in the body, including the synthesis of creatine. So he was suggesting that if you're going to take nicotinamide riboside, you should also take a, a methyl donor such as choline or betaine which is trimethylglycine. It has three methyl groups in each uh, pill. So that's what he was suggesting. Honestly, I've never. this is this person's opinion. I know he, what he was saying about methyl groups is correct. However, I haven't seen any evidence that this particular supplement, nicotinamide riboside, uh, would actually affect methyl groups in such a fashion as to deplete them in the human body. I haven't seen any animal or human evidence. I think it's this guy's personal theory. I don't think that's anything to worry about. But my big problem with nicotinamide riboside is that uh, it didn't seem to work for me. It didn't seem to work for, for men in this study. It did nothing. It didn't help reduce fat. It, uh, and it also that mouse study is a kind of a red flag. The fact that it interferes with exercise endurance and muscle gains 35% less 
in the mice. Again, it's a mice study, but that's a, to me a big red flag that if it does that in humans, that's very bad. That means that this supplement would be terrible for somebody involved in exercise to use. Uh, so, you know, I've written off a NR, and I'm, not, I'm keeping the door open, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm going to be looking at future studies. I might even write an article. If there's enough future studies showing that I w that my current opinion of nicot uh, nicotinamide riboside, if, if I'm off, if I'm wrong, and maybe if this study is disproved, you know, then I'll change my opinion. I might even start using nicotinamide riboside again, but that'll wait. That'll have to await future studies. Right now, I'm not impressed at all with the studies. They've all been uh, sponsored by the company that sells nicotinamide riboside or licenses it out. I haven't seen too, too many uh, independent studies showing that it really does anything. Uh, and if it does, you'd have to take huge doses that cost a, a small fortune. So uh, the point, I, I guess the point I'm trying to leave you with is uh, don't make the mistake I made, which is I, I jumped uh, on this supplement. I started using it based on just a couple of uh, uh, studies, uh, just uh, you know, several animal studies and only maybe two human studies. And I jumped the gun, frankly. It was my mistake. I should have waited for further research. Uh, you know, like I say, this study just came out. As soon as it came out, I stopped using I stopped using the nicotine. I won't use it anymore. But uh, so my advice is uh, you're going to be hearing about a lot of new, new supplements coming out. And some of them will have a lot, what seems to be a lot of uh, medical and scientific background. I'd say to be very careful these supplements. Don't go by one or two studies. And certainly, certainly don't go by animal or mouse studies or fruit, fruit fly studies because these may, end up, may not apply at all to human physiology. So don't believe, you know, there's, uh, I mean, if you do a search now for nicotinamide riboside, there's, there's literally hundreds of sites touting this stuff, talking about how great it is, trying to act like it's a, you know, present the claim that it's a, a, a virtual fountain of youth and it'll reverse aging. That's all bullshit. In other words, I, I don't believe it does that at all. And uh, like I say, I'm going to await further studies. So I guess that's about all I have to say for this nicotinamide riboside. Save your money. Don't buy it. Wait to see more further proof that it actually does something. Right now, I am unconvinced. Uh, I do write the truth about supplements. And like I say, if the further evidence comes out showing that nicotinamide riboside, especially by independent researchers, not people hired by the company that sells it. If some independent research shows that this stuff does work, I'll write an article in my Applied Metabolics newsletter and I'll tell, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll explain these studies, but until then I'm not going to. But you'll find a lot more uh, about nutrition, exercise science, hormonal therapy, anti-aging research that really does work, fat loss techniques that actually work, hormonal therapy, women's health, Exercise science, all of this is included every month in my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. If you subscribe, you'll be automatically invited to join my private Facebook page for Applied Metabolics, where every day I add new studies and new information about nutrition, exercise, and health. Uh, you, I, I, will, uh, I have an email portal on the Applied Metabolics site where I answer uh, short questions or queries submitted to me by only Applied Metabolic subscribers. You have to be a subscriber uh, to submit a question to me. I don't uh, answer unsolicited questions. So again, subscribe today, www.appliedmetabolics.com. 40 to 50 pages every month, no ads, no BS, just pure evidence-based truth. Uh, I'm one of the last beacons of truth you'll find on the internet, which is loaded with misrepresentations and lies, especially about nutrition and exercise and health. But you'll get the whole truth in Applied Metabolics, I promise you that. And it's based on my 57 years of study and experience. So again, www.appliedmetabolics.com. Uh, if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter, adopt a dog. Best, best animals there are in the world. Take care. Thanks for listening.